Okay, so this is an introduction to my new um, Skywatcher uh, 150p telescope. It has a, a mirror diameter of 150 millimeters and a focal length of 750. Um, it's a Newtonian telescope, which basically means if you look down the tube, you have a mirror at the bottom, so light comes in, goes down to the bottom, gets reflected back up, hits this secondary part here, uh, which then directs all of the light out through here and into the eyepiece, which is blanked off at the moment. So, yeah, we have um, a, a standard Crayford um, focuser on the side. Um, it has an equatorial mount with, at the moment, manual controls. I've actually got a motor drive for it, so I'll be fitting the motors in a, in a different video. Um, basically, the equatorial mount, for those of you who are not familiar, is that uh, if we align this the axis with the North Pole, or I should say the pol a North Pole star, the Polaris star, um, then when we, uh, when we line the telescope up with the star, uh, we can then track it across the sky uh, like so. It will follow it directly. Um, so you can either use it, that was, that's in course mode, or if you just change it and just use the, the manual fine controls like this. Th these controls allow you to focus on and, and select the star or object you want to look at, and then, uh, and then this will track it directly, either manually or with the motor. So down the bottom here we have a traditional um, azimuth and altitude mount. Um, this, these two knobs on the side here allowed us, allow us to move the, uh, the main part to help us line up Polaris. And there's a scale on the side of this one which shows us the latitude. So you set it for wherever you live in the UK, it's around about 52 degrees. And that should give you 52 degrees coming up through there. So it shows you the basic mount. One of the first things you have to do is to, to, to try um, to make sure that the telescope is balanced uh, and that means that it, you should be able to put it in any direction and it stays where you put it. Um, yeah, and that means doing a couple of things. You've got a dovetail here which allow, is able to slide up and down and you've also got the tubes with these knobs which allows you to move the ring, sorry, with the knobs, it allows you to move the optical tube assembly up and down just to get it balanced. It depends what you've got on here. I've got a camera uh, fitment as well, so I put a, an SLR on here, and that obviously weighs more than just a standard lens. And you might have noticed that uh, on this side, instead of that, the, there would normally be a little spotting scope fitted in here, but instead, uh, what I've got fitted is a Telrad Red Dots uh, finder scope which is which is great I've never used one before tried it out last night and it works a treat it projects a, uh, um, a head up display if you like through here when it's switched on you probably can't see it through here but there's a little switch on the side you turn it on and looking that, that down that way parallel with the tube you'll see a, a series of red circle targets which you then point in uh, to the approximate location um, lock off the clutches and use the fine controls to uh, to find the object. Okay, so looking at the mount a bit more closely, in this section we have the alt and azimuth uh, adjustments. So first of all, you would set the tripod up level on uh, solid ground. There's a little bubble level in the top here, which allows you to move the tripod legs to get that axis exactly horizontal to the ground. Uh, and then using these two, I just slacken them off. You can see there's, there's a certain amount of movement available to the mount, which basically turns the whole mount around this way. Here we have the uh, latitude adjustment, um, anything between 0 and 90. Uh, in the UK, we're around about 50, 52 degrees. If I need to adjust it, I slacken and, and move these two screws, which allows me to set accurately the latitude that I'm currently on. Moving up a little, 
we see the equatorial part of the mount, which is these two axes. Uh, this axis is the polar axis. Um, there is a, an optional polar scope, which would fit in through this, uh, this hole here. Um, so you can look through the mount itself and line basically this hole up with the Polaris North Star. Um, there are some setting circles to make some fine adjustments as well, but that allows you then to, to track accurately.